Have you seen all the different types of 3D printing infill? Today I print all of them to feel how they turn out in real life. This lights here you can set a different infill to each object. I removed the top layer so we could actually see them and hit print. Then you might ask me, which one is the best? And I will tell you, it depends, because each pattern has its own purpose. In this video, I will group them into two categories. The ones that intersect on the same layer, which can be risky depending on your model's complexity. And the ones that don't intersect, which I prefer because they also avoid the terrifying nozzle crash sound that kills me every time. In few patterns that intersect on the same layer, grid, cubic, adaptive cubic, triangles, trihexagon, crosshatch, supportive cubic, 3D honeycomb, octagram, spiral. In few patterns that don't intersect on the same layer, line, rectilinear, align rectilinear, concentric, honeycomb, gyroid, Hubert curve, archimedium cords, lightning. Want to know which infill uses the least filament or prints the fastest? Drop a comment below for part two.